have someone who has proven to be a loose cannon. It's a loose cannon when you say, let more countries have nuclear weapons like he has. It's a loose cannon when he says, let's use nuclear weapons against ISIS, not even a state, a terrorist network. It's a loose cannon when he says, hey, let's pull out of NATO, the best defense alliance in the history of the world, in my opinion. These are consequential statements. This rhetoric in and of itself is not just offensive, it is dangerous. We cannot afford that kind of demagoguery in the White House. And finally, let me say this. Look, I know that we are right now in the midst of a political season, but even before, we have too much divisiveness in America. We've got too many arguments that stand in the way of people working together. And I think you've got to ask yourself, who will really get up every day and try to find common ground? Even with people we disagree with. Well, that is what I did as First Lady, as Senator, and as Secretary of State. That is what I will do if I am honored to be your president. with anyone at any time to try to find common ground. I will also stand my ground, but I think we need much more talking and listening instead of finger pointing and scapegoating. And I personally believe it is time for us to get off of being just on the Republican team or the Democratic team or the red team or the blue team. Let's get on the American team and let's act like to have your vote in the primary tomorrow. You got it. I will pledge to you, I will pledge that I will do everything I can to produce positive results for our people in this country, to restore the belief that yes, the American dream is alive, to protect our country, to protect the men and women in uniform who serve our country and the veterans who have served our country. And I will do everything I can to unify our country. So if you go out and vote for me tomorrow, I will work for you, I will fight for you, I will